Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to be going over a list of about five or so different things that you can try out to get that YouTube app running and working properly on your Roku player. A lot of people when they're inside the YouTube app videos won't load, it'll freeze up on them, they'll just have a hard time getting things running properly. If that's the case, especially if it's frozen within the app itself, the first thing that you can try is just going over to your Roku player and unplugging its power supply. And then that's going to turn it off from the screen. After about five to 10 seconds or so, you can go ahead and plug it back in. Get that uh, reboot system started. This is gonna fix a lot of people's issues, especially if the app is just completely frozen up on them. A lot of times just doing a complete system reboot is gonna be all that you need to do to get things running properly again, but we are gonna go over some other things that you can try to get things running the right way. And I will say that sometimes depends on what Roku player you're using. Some of the cheaper ones that don't have as much power are more likely to run into these issues where it freezes up or bugs out or things such as that. So that's also something to keep in mind if you have a Roku stick or some of the cheaper models, uh, you can have those issues. But another thing that you're going to want to check out uh, is to make sure you have a good, strong internet connection. So having your Wi-Fi in the good to excellent range uh, in terms of that signal strength is going to be vital in making sure that videos are loading properly and everything's working. So you're going to go down to settings and then go over to network and then you're going to go ahead and click OK on network. It's going to check that connection. I just did a system reboot so it's going to take a little time there. So there it goes. Everything loads up and you can see that I'm in excellent signal strength there at the bottom that's gonna be very important for you to load those YouTube videos properly. If you're in a poor signal strength, try to get your Roku in a situation to where it's not blocked by a bunch of walls or having stuff on top of it or things like that that are gonna block that signal from your uh, Wi-Fi router. All right, some other things that you can try, um, just go to the app itself and on your Roku remote, click this little star settings button and then go down and click remove channel and then select the remove option. This is going to take it off your system, uninstall it from your Roku player. And then once you do that and it's off of your system, just go back to your uh, streaming channels and then go to the most popular. It should be in that area and just click on YouTube and reinstall it. So this is basically just uninstalling the app, reinstalling it, starting from fresh and uh, rebooting it to hopefully a situation where you know, maybe it updates it or just gets it back into a situation where it's running properly again. Now we're gonna try some things that are within the app itself. So I'm gonna boot up YouTube here real quick. Going through the loading page here. All right, so once you're in YouTube uh, itself, you can go over to the side. You just click that uh, arrow to the left and then go down to settings. And you can try signing out of your account and signing back in. That might be something that gets things working again for you. Um, also going over here, uh, make sure you have improve YouTube enabled. So whatever issues that you are running into, those bug reports and things are sent to YouTube so they can try to fix those issues. Um, restricted mode, make sure this is unchecked. You might be trying to watch a video that might not even be inappropriate, but the fact that you have restricted mode on might make it so that that video isn't loading for you based on your settings there. So make sure uh, if you want to uh, have that box unchecked so that those videos aren't being blocked. Um, and then also you can go over to this option that's just reset the app. This is gonna clear your settings, including your uh, connected devices and accounts and kind of just start things from fresh with the YouTube app as well. So that's gonna be another thing that you can go ahead and try out. And that's pretty much it for all of the options that you have available to try to get that YouTube app back in a situation where it's running properly. I hope this video was able to help uh, most of you out there. Sometimes things just aren't gonna work no matter how many different fixes and things that you try to apply to it. Maybe uh, a lot of people are having the same issues and it's just something that YouTube needs to fix on their end. Uh, if that's the case, just don't use the YouTube app on your Roku player, maybe use it on your computer or a different device that you have uh, to watch those videos or just use a different app altogether to get that content for the night and uh, try it out the next day to see if the issues have been completely fixed. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys, and wrap things up. If you have any questions or uh, situations where you've run into YouTube issues and have found ways to 
fix your problem, you can go ahead and post those down in the comment section. Also, be sure to subscribe for more of these types of videos. So thanks for stopping on in, and we hope to see you in future videos, guys. Bye.